Hello! Hi there. We are drinking, I'm drinking white wine. You have I'm drinking orange, orange juice. juice. I had a beer earlier and I have to wake up early. So. It's a Friday night and we both have to wake up in the morning. <laughs> it's not gonna get that crazy. Okay, we're always gonna wake up! <laughs> <laughs> what are you laughing about? <laughs> because we're waking up in the morning. <laughs> I was just gonna sleep for the rest of the day and wake up in the evening. Never. Just sleep until noon. When was the last time you slept until noon? To be honest. I don't remember the last time. At least a year ago. I'm gonna say high school. Oh god. Yeah, I have not slept until noon in a long- No, that's a lie. When I got home from Bali, I slept for like 12 and a half hours or something. It's a little less than a year for you. August. Over mm -hmm. a year for me. Solid. You sent me this idea. What was it called? I don't remember what it was. Is it like, like it was a a little paragraph that someone had shared. It was along the lines of um, like a ranting game. So someone picks a topic, and the other person just has to rant about it. Just go on this. It could be anything. Tangent. It doesn't have to be anything like controversial or anything. It could be anything. So there's a game me and my friends play. Oh, it's called Don't Get Me Started. And Don't basically someone gives another person a random topic and they have to go on an angry rant about it and it's the best thing that's ever happened to us at parties and car rides. So I highly recommend playing sometimes with your friends. So We're friends. We're going to try it. We're going to play. You have to rant about pillows. Three, two, one. Go ahead. Okay, so pillows, they just sit there. They're literally for either decoration or so you can squish them. When you sleep on them, you end up like folding them in half and then they're not a pillow anymore. It's just this piece of fabric that's not helping you support you in any way, shape, or form. Way to go, pillows. And then you have them on the couch and they accessorize, they decorate everything. But can you fucking use them? No. When there's like tassels and things on them and you can't, you like lay down and then you've got this zigzag cheetah print shit on your face. Like, no one's going to lay on those. No one wants to sleep on those. There is literally no point to them. Now, when you have, like, the back pillow, like, you lean on it, or even, like, our couch has those big back pillows, they end up, like, squishing or they fall backwards. They literally don't stay where they're supposed to go. They're so big, they're not normal size. How are we supposed to lay on them? Like, they're so irrelevant. I want a normal pillow. I want a pillow that stays fluffed up. I don't care whether it's feathers. I don't care whether it's cotton. I don't really care. I just want it. One that works. That's a minute. I'm going to cut you off. Well done. Thank you. <laughs> I'm not going to be that good at this game. I want you to rant about shoes. Ooh, okay. Angry rant about shoes. Three, two, one, go. I'm going to start how they're never in my size. I wear a size 7, which is, I guess, pretty average. They are never in my size. You go to any store, and they're like, you know, 6, 8, 9. There's like a 12. Who wears 12s? I wear 7s and they're never anywhere. And then the ones that you can find are usually not comfortable at all. They have either the high heels or they have the weird spikes on them. It's like, how is that practical at all? I'm a nanny. I don't need these fancy ass shoes that are like, oh, look at me. I have diamonds all over me. No, they fall off. Those diamonds will fall off. The glue will eventually not stick. You walk into a puddle. Those diamonds, the glue, it's going to start to unravel. And then you're going to have these diamonds falling off. People are going to trip all over them because they're probably wearing high heels too. They're just going to stumble. You look like a giraffe if you don't know how to walk in them. And there are always girls that don't know how to walk. And you're like, honey, get some flatter shoes. I'm a big fan of wearing the flat shoes. But sometimes, like the canvas ones, you know what I'm talking about? They're like really flimsy. And if you get water on those, they just stain and they get gross. And my time's up. I do not know where I was going Solid. with that. You have to rant about light switches. Three, two, one. Okay, light switches, great concept. Light on, light off, light on, light off. What I don't understand is why? Why does it even matter? You need to collapse. If you make some random sound, you smack someone across the face, light turns off. <laughs> why? It's freaking redundant. Now, get me into like the fading light switches. Mm -hmm. You either want the light on, you want it off. Don't like dim it, mood lighting, no one gives a shit. <laughs> it's either on or it's off. Pick one. There's no gray area here. Black, white, on, off. That's it. And then when it comes to, like, lamp switches, if we're getting to those, like, some of them twist, mm -hmm. some of them they, like, click back and forth, mm -hmm. some of them you can't figure out, like, it's rigid on it, and you think you're going to twist it, and it clicks. How? <laughs> Pick one. How about you do it just like you do a light switch? Click on, click off. How is that hard? It's not that complicated. Fucking lights. <laughs>
Are you done? That's all I got. 52 seconds. About a minute. Not too bad. I was. I did not know I wasn't going to go that far with light switch. So good for you. Thank you. I'll, I'll take it. 52 seconds. Not bad. Not bad. Bring it on, Megan. Bring it on. Hold on. <sighs> Bring it on. Go on a rant about jazz music. Three, two, one. Go. Well, I can appreciate jazz music. I really do not like it. I feel like there's no rhyme or reason as to why they play how they do. I get the whole swing of it and everything. But when you can just say, okay, you're going to have one soloist and you just go with it and we'll all just play behind you. It's like, I am the kind of person that needs some structure. I need the sheet music in front of me. I can't just be like, oh yeah, I know how to play this. No. So when they just like improvise and just co off on their own thing, I don't understand. I don't get it. I get how you can dance to it. It's a very catchy thing. But the fact that you just have one person standing there and he just, he doesn't know when he stands up, what he's going to be playing. He just kind of goes for it. I don't, I can't understand that. <sighs> Battery died, but that's okay because I really wasn't going to go much else with that. So, it's fine. What was my last one, by the way? 43 seconds? Yeah, 43 seconds. You mentioned about jazz. Yeah. Okay. You have to rant about Christmas lights. How do you say it? Go. Okay. I understand having Christmas spirit. That's all fine and dandy. But the fact that I can't fall asleep because the lights across the street are shining so bright. It's basically like it's daylight out. There is no point. These are on at night. No one is awake to see them. No one cares that much. Do you know how much work that takes to set them up and then... A month later, you get to tear them all down. I'm going to call that karma because there is literally no point. Like, I understand you're excited. That's fine. Let them all be excited and let them decorate. Put a couple lights up in a bush. If you want to do a tree, fine and dandy. But if your roof is covered in lights and Frosty the Snowman and your front yard's got animatronic deer from one of the Christmas movies that we've seen a thousand times before that everybody knows, even in the womb... <laughs> you might die let's be realistic because nobody cares literally nobody they care about what they put in their yard and they give zero shits about yours okay on that note you made it to a minute well done I want you to rant about towels <laughs> don't you just love when towels get damp not like soaking wet but just that damp, and then they're left somewhere, not like folded neatly somewhere, but just like left on the counter or on the floor or wherever, and they don't get fully dry. They're just that gross feeling, and they get slimy, and you think there's going to be mold in it, to be honest. Ugh. And the feeling of them, I'm a very textured person, and the texture and the feeling of wet towels are disgusting. And then, they don't even stay fuzzy for that long. You buy these brand new towels, you use them once to dry your hands, and then that whole fluffy, happy feeling of wanting to stick your face in it, it's gone. It's out of here. So then, we have that part of it. But then, you have when they are in the dryer, and they get that static clean. If you like, Even if you put a dryer sheet in it sometimes, they all kind of stick to each other. I don't know if this happens with you. Does it happen with you? It happens mm -hmm. with me. They all just kind of stick. And so when you pull them apart, it's like that clingy sound. You hear the static and then you get zapped. It's just awful. So it's in a minute. So I think that's enough for today. I, I think we've had enough. I you, think you've had enough. I think we're all just needed to be done. I think we should, they should try this game. It's really fun. Something fun to play. Literally, can be anything. You don't need a time limit. Don't nope. play it in like a car ride yeah. if you just want to have a conversation with somebody. I, honestly, I kind of want to do it while I'm at work. That'd be fun. Yeah. We're super slow, like at the sub shop or even mm -hmm. even at Bath and Body if we're not doing anything. Just go up to a customer and be like, "Look, I think customer or colleague." I'm thinking more colleague. I think <laughs> if I walked up to any of our customers, they would look at me It'd like get I'm a crazy. Weird. If you had anything for us, tell us anything. Use your words. <laughs> Comment down below, but make sure you do that after you click the thumbs up. It's the most important part. Actually, no. second most important part. The most important thing, number one, numero uno, <laughs> subscribe. Click that little red button. It should be over on this side somewhere. Is it on that side? I, I think, think it is. I think it's on this side down over here. So click that first, then click this button, then leave us your words. Tell us things to drink, things you want us to do, rants you want us to have. 
questions you want us to answer. We can go off on tangents about just about anything. So give us some ideas. What do you want to hear? Let us know. You want us to go off about traffic? Oh. I got you. Megan's your girl for that. Let me tell you. That's a whole different video. Cheers. Cheers. And tell your moms happy Mother's Day. Card, flowers, e even just saying happy Mother's Day. You might not have the greatest relationship, but sh it's your mom. Send her a text, man. Give her a phone call. <laughs> this needs to be done. Do what you need to do, <laughs> man. It needs to end. She birthed you. Megan, stop. Don't go on another rant.